Hi, this is Crystal from EpicVector.com, and um, so let's get to making some concentric circles, uh, otherwise known as interpolated circles. Um, so what I mean is we want um, a circle, a small circle that maybe goes out in about 50 steps or so, or 20 steps or so to a larger circle so that you have smallest to biggest. And in Affinity Designer, when we try to do this, um, this is how I would do this anyhow, is I would make my circle and then I would use Control J to make a duplicate. That's our power duplicate buttons. Um, and then I would use Shift Control and drag out that duplicate to, you know, the spacing that I'd like in between. And then we're going to hit Control J again, and you'll see that that is not going to make um, circles that are evenly spaced. And so this is a feature that has been requested in um, Affinity Designer or from Affinity Affinity um, to or Serif uh, to implement, and it's just been years. And I, I searched everywhere, and I I even tried to put you know two and two together and find a workaround, but it just, if you're looking to make maybe 20 or 50 stops in between the smallest and the biggest circle, um, it's not something with, you know, with even space, even spaces, it's not something that's going to be easily done. You'll have to do a lot of manual work with this. So my workaround that I recommend um, that really will save you a lot of time is to download Inkscape. It'll literally take you four minutes. I timed it and, and downloaded it to this computer today. Um, four minutes from the time of going there. And if you don't know what Inkscape is, it is an um, open source program. It's free. It's very safe. Um, to download from Inkscape.org. It's been around for years and years. This is the program that I used when I started out. Um, well, GIMP is what I started, which is another open source program that's comparable to Photoshop. But this program is comparable to Illustrator and to Affinity Designer. So um, this, this program actually has a lot of features that are not available in both uh, Affinity Designer and Illustrator. So it's got some power here. Um, but I know the interface is a little bit, it's pretty similar, but it's going to be a little bit different to maybe um, aggravate you. <laughs> so I'm just going to walk you through the steps um, into making that. And you're not going to have to download the file after, you know, you're not going to have to save the file. You're not going to have to export it. You're not going to have to import it into Affinity Designer. Um, you'll just be able to literally copy and paste from here into Affinity Designer. And this is what's going to save a lot of time because all you'll need to do is open this up, do what you, you know, what might not be available to do in Affinity Designer, copy it and paste it right over and, and that will, you know, that'll be it. It'll just take you a minute to do once you um, get a little bit more used to the interface. But if this is what you're specifically looking to do, I'll show you how to do it right now. So we're gonna make a circle. Um, you might get a red circle to start with. It seems to be their starting for some reason fill. <laughs> um, but what you need to do is you, when you open it, this will be closed to the side. You can just open it here, change your fill um, here to a fill. Um, you can choose any color from here. You know, here's the color wheel if you'd like to use that or just the standard colors they have um, down at the bottom here. But we're just going to make open circle. So we want to get rid of the fill, go over to the um, stroke, and we want this, which is already chosen for me. And if you want the stroke style, you can change the width of the stroke here in, in this stroke style. So I'm going to start with, with this, and it's a little bit different um, between Inkscape and Illustrator and um, Affinity Designer in that this is purely um, SVG. So it's not going to have, like, you're not going to choose 300 DPI or PPI or anything like that when you get into, um, Illust uh, rather, Inkscape because it's pure, I mean, at least last I checked, unless they've tried to uh, make it more similar to the other programs. Um, you're, everything you do in here, even blurs and so forth, is going to be SVG. It's not going to just sort of throw a roster on top of it or a bitmap and make it this sort of weird combined file. Um, 
and and again that forgive me if that's not correct in the current times but that's the way it used to be anyhow so the scaling is a little bit probably a little bit different than what you're used to in other programs but let's get back to this so we have our circle we're going to want to hit control uh, actually make you know go over to um, choosing it and then we're going to hit control D and that's going to make our copy on top and then we're going to control shift out and you'll notice that it's not um, it, it's actually scaling up the, the stroke and that's just the way that Inkscape deals with with this so we're gonna have to go back over and uh, change our stroke style to the same as the other which is I have a 10 here um, the next step is we're going to choose both of these and go over to object and then we're going to um, I'm sorry no path and we're going to go to objects to path and then from here we're going to go to extensions generate from path interpolate and from here um, we can see a live preview of we already chosen 20 steps in between here and here um, so we'll see this live preview if you want equal space we're gonna have to change that to zero sorry um, but you can actually you can see what's uh, um, what you're able to do what's possible in here if you go minus 0.4 or positive 0.4 we can go from the middle out or just zero will be equal spacing between so now we have our um, what we want so we're going to hit apply and just close this box out and then we're going to grab actually this is going to save a copy of our original start and end circles so we're off and I'm sorry object and ungroup and now we can copy that this one and paste it size it down and there we have it got all our separate concentric circles we can group them in here or do whatever we want with them at that point point. and thanks for watching